Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Monday in Hockey Ultimate Team, we've got brand new Hockey Roots International cards to talk about. We've got some new updates to some of the X Factors as well, and some prime times that we do need to discuss, especially for players that are free to play or you're just starting out. There's some really good cards that aren't the end game type or the really high master sets or some really good mid range cards that we should go over. So guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel as always. All right, let's get into the new content. All right, we're going to start first with the new prime time. We've got an 86 Joe Pavelski with Spark and Buzzing as well as Magician. Man, like, uh, he's just still so slow. He's not very big. This is the worst combination. This is a lot like Brad Marchand, only even worse skating. Uh, unfortunately, until he gets two skating synergies or something, it's just going to be awfully tough to use him. Now, we do need to discuss his X Factor because he still hasn't got a speed synergy there either. So if you're holding on for Joe Pavelski um, to kind of go and sell for some more, it's not going to happen until he gets a speed synergy, and maybe not for a while either because this next upgrade is going to cost 40k, and while he does jump up to 85 speed, his shot isn't bad. It's just, you know, very, very difficult to use him. You could use him at center at 5'11", which wouldn't be awful to kind of hide the fact that he's got lower speed. But there's still just way better options like the 86 Couturier or Kopitar. So uh, still waiting on a really good Joe Pavelski card. We also got this 87 Dylan Larkin. And honestly, Dylan Larkin cards are some of the best non-Master Set, non-X-Factor cards that you can get. 6'1", good size, 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 agility. His shot is in the high 80s. His hand stats are all above 90, essentially. Body checking gets up to 87 with Gladiator on. And his defensive awareness is at 94, stick checking at 90. Very, very well-rounded card. You can play him on wing. You can play him at center. For anyone that is looking for a uh, cheaper option that, you know, you can't afford the 100K plus cards, this is a very, very good one and someone I would really recommend for anyone that's in that 50K, 60K range. He's probably going to go for much cheaper than that, but if you're in that price range, this would be a decent card. We also got this 84 John Klingberg, 6'3", right-handed with 88 speed, 88 acceleration, booming shots, so his body checking gets up to 86. His defensive stats are kind of on the lower end, but if early on you're looking for, you know, a non-base card a non-base card defenseman, this would be a very good one. If you can't afford like let's say the master set Seth Jones or the X Factor set Jones or Hamilton or any of those guys, 88 speed on someone who's 6 foot 3 early on in the game, you could do a lot worse than that. So be on the lookout if you are in the market for a cheaper right-handed defenseman. All right, let's get into some of the new international cards. We've got the 84 Dominic Kubalik with Spark, which I'd probably or I recommend getting 80 87 speed, 85 or 87 acceleration, 85 speed, and then Gladiator. The thing here, guys, is if you're going for an 84 overall card, uh, he is six foot two, which is nice, but he's gonna have to play wing. Go and get Kuznetsov. He's much cheaper and much faster, and just a better overall card. So wouldn't wouldn't want to invest in this one. Next, we've got the 85 Darcy Kemper. This is an interesting card, guys, because the X Factor price, if you've been watching my channel, has been the best goaltender I've used and seen in this game. He's absolutely insane, and the big reason for it is because he's got the X Factor uh, superstar ability post to post. Now, this is a very good card at six foot five, 73 aggression, pretty good stats all around, except for his glove high at 83 is a little low but he does have post to post i would love it if someone in the comments was able to try this card out let us know uh because he does look to be a really good one if you have everything activated there all right from germany we've got the 85 yannick seidenberg with buzzing as well as bombarded 88 speed 96 agility is nice uh he's five foot eight with uh with 88 body checking which is a high enough body checking stat but not for someone who's five foot eight on defense uh just a, a big pass here. You'd much rather just go with the base um, Quinn Hughes at that point. On the other end of the scale, we've got the 85 Eric Chernak, six foot four with workhorse and distributor and truculence. This is a budget Ulf Samuelson, but he's only got 85 speed and 85 acceleration. In the right hands for someone that knows how to play defense with this car to make sure you don't get caught trying to chase guys down the wing. If you don't give up a lot of two on ones or breakaways, things like that. Eric Chernak could be a really good card for you because in his own zone, he's going to be absolutely devastating with uh, with that size body checking. So be on the lookout for him if you're looking for a big-time right-handed defenseman. Another extremely good card for anyone in the market for someone that isn't a master set or high-end card because this 86 Kapanen, and don't get fooled by his overall. He's got 93 speed, 93 acceleration, high 80 shooting. Hand stats are a little bit worse than um, than Larkin. I'd much rather have the 87 Larkin, but this card, there's going to be a lot more of them pulled. So be on the lookout for him because even with the wheels superstar ability, I know I'm not big on it, but with 93 speed and only costing five, 
That's not bad. This is a very good card for anyone trying to find a fast right-handed winger and not pay, you know, 100k for him. On defense from Sweden, we've got the 86 Hampus Lindholm with Protector and Bombarded as well as Magician. Good skater, 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 91 agility. This is a good, uh, you know, maybe replacement, or if you don't have Headman, you're looking for a big, big left-handed defenseman, this could be your guy. I think that, well, he's very well-rounded, has shutdown. Um, very, very good card for anyone that's just starting to build their team for sure. And even if you're not, like, there is not a lot of great left-handed defensemen, this could be one. From the U.S., we've got the 87 Ryan Hartman, who's having a great season in the NHL. He's got distributor as well as applesauce. 88, 89 speed, 87 acceleration, just very ho-hum. Um, you're going to play him on the wing, and there's just a lot of other cards that would be better than that. And, you know, uh, you know, his skating's just a little low. Like, this is like, this reminds me of, like, Sidney Crosby cards. He's not very big. He's not very fast. Has an okay shot and everything. Other attributes very similar. Just, yeah, nothing really great about this card. Nothing stands out. Then we're, we've got the 87 Seth Jones with Bombarded Light the Lamp and Applesauce. And if you don't have the X-Factor Seth Jones, this is a very good card. 89 speed at 6'4 is good. 88 acceleration, again, passable for someone that big. Got a decent shot, uh, decent enough body checking. I wish his defensive awareness was a little higher, but regardless, this is a very well-rounded right-handed defenseman, just like that Hampus Lindholm card. That'd be a decent pairing as well, so be on the lookout for him if you do not have his X-Factor. This is a nice card. Then we've got the 88 Elias Lindholm with Spark as well as Thief. Guys, this is almost the 92 Leon Dreisaitl. I hope none of you, unless you are from Germany or a diehard Oilers fan, don't make that Leon Dreisaitl because this is legit almost the exact attributes. I mean, obviously his shot is a lot lower, but like the important stuff, like very, very close, and he's going to be a fraction of the cost. So uh, I like this uh, Elias Lindholm to play center for sure, especially with Thief on. And then from Canada, we've got the 90 Mitch Marner with Gladiator Booming Shot, which I really like, and then Well-Rounded. I've mentioned before, Well-Rounded is pretty tough to activate, but Booming Shot is nice. 90 speed, 92 acceleration, very good fast right-handed winger for anyone looking for uh, a right-handed winger. The problem is, is he's 90 overall, um, and that's going to cost a lot. Like, I'd probably rather save the coins and get Team of the Week 88 overall Barzal than this 90 Mitch Marner, but still very good. Taking a look at some of the X-Factor upgrades, so Seth Jones goes from an 86 to 87 and does get a speed boost. He's now up to 89 speed, 88 acceleration. Uh, with shutdown and quick pick, still one of the better right-handed X-Factor cards, I think, especially because he's not that expensive. So now that he's got an 87, it'll probably be a bit before he gets another upgrade, but still one of the better ones. He's not going to break the bank, and uh, yeah, I really like this card. Mitch Marner also gets an upgrade with Light the Lamp as well as Fly the Zone still, so I'd probably go with that. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 95 agility. I really like that combo. He's got tape to tape as well as his next tier jump. If you are someone who maybe got Marner in the starter pack or you got him untradeable and you haven't gotten any of the other big ones like McKinnon or Ovi, go ahead and upgrade Mitch Marner. Like this is a really well-rounded, nice card. His hand stats are all phenomenal. They're all end game essentially. Body checking's pretty weak, and that's where Ovi kind of makes up for it. Uh, but it's still a really, really good card. If you're using your untradeable cards for power-up collectibles, you should be able to upgrade them fairly easy. Uh, but still a nice looking card here with the Mitch Marner. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.